Good afternoon. First of all, I'd like to say thank you to all my relatives and my family for traveling here to come and celebrate with Swinomish. You bring great blessings to our land, to our people. This weekend has been really marvelous. Nothing but good feelings here throughout the entire event. Back in the 1930s, Winnemish hosted the Indian Festival, which brought many people together who traveled many days to get here for our celebration. We did baseball tournaments, we did canoe races, we hosted all kinds of different cultural events that our people came together in celebration for weeks at a time. And we were very grateful to our tribal senators, our leaders, to give us the budget so that we could bring this back. And that's our anticipation. So I have to to our senators. I'd like to acknowledge Will Acup, Kevin Paul. He's on our Senate. Tallis Tallis. Barb Jane, she's also on our Senate. My mom, Sophie Bailey, she's also a Senator here. Without them supporting this, we wouldn't be able to carry on. And through bringing these practices back here to Swinomish, it gives our kids the option to see that there is more than just drugs and alcohol out there. We're steering them towards a path that our ancestors practiced, that Kevin's family brought here many, many years ago for our kids so that they would have something to do on the weekends. And I'm so grateful to the Paul family for carrying on the round drum here at Swinomish and getting many, many of our youngsters involved when their parents were here. So let's give the Paul family a hand as well. This is our third annual powwow. And I have to say every year, it's getting better and bigger. And I am so, so very grateful and thankful for all of you that have traveled here. We also, through bringing Swinomish Days back here, we have gotten our young people back into roles of royalty and leadership. We haven't had royalty here for 15 years. This is the third annual Swinomish Days, so this will be our third annual royalty pageant. And these youngsters are asked to represent Swinomish in a good way. We have community dinners every month to honor our elders that we still have here. And the kids have to participate in all of our community events. They have to be good role models and leaders for their peers. They have to be drug and alcohol free. boys that had the courage to step up in the beginning because it wasn't easy to do something new to set the example for the younger generations to come it was a it was a tough challenge for them to take on but they did and some of them were very shy in the beginning and we really seen them come out of their shell but at this time I'm going to call Selena and Kiana Kiana's 2014 Miss Swinomish, and she will be giving that her crown today. I'm so proud of her. Many of you probably knew her late grandmother, Susan Bob Wilbur, very instrumental in our tribe, very instrumental throughout Indian country. And when Kiana gave her speech, she said, I'd like to follow in my grandma's footsteps and help my people. So 
for that. I'm so grateful that she took the challenge of being Miss Swinomish, representing her people in a good way, and helping wherever she could. So let's give Kiana a hand. And this is my niece, Selena. My brother Curtis was her late father, my baby brother. Selena is being raised by my mom and dad, by Sophie and Joe. And I'm so proud of her. We went on the canoe journey this last week. And Selena joined in on the warrior challenge, which wasn't easy. She took first place in the 50-yard dash. And... And she also took first place in push-ups in her division. So I'm very proud of her for her inner strength and her physical strength, her spiritual strength. And I know that she will become a great leader one day. So with that, these two young ladies have requested a special. And they would like to have the junior traditional dancer, girl, the junior girls traditional dancers, and the teen girls traditional dancers to come out. We're going to honor them with a song, and then they have a gift they'd like to present after.